Well, forensic psychiatry is the part of psychiatry that pertains to the law. So we look after patients who've come into contact with the criminal justice system. That might be in courts, police stations, prisons, and then a range of secure hospitals. So sometimes a mental health problem might cause somebody to offend. Sometimes it might be unrelated. So the, the link, the narrative between the psychological issues and why somebody's acted in the way they have. Forensic psychiatry is quite simply the most fascinating area of medicine, let alone psychiatry. We have um, a vast array of patients, we have a vast array of social situations, um, and we're involved with patients at very interesting points or very distressing points sometimes in their lives. Um, and it's a privilege to, to be involved. I just find it incredibly interesting. I think it's quite unusual now to work with patients over a long period of time. And quite a few of my patients have been in hospital for several months, if not years. So by the time people move on and they become, go back into the community and they're, they're working and they're making a positive contribution again, you've worked really hard and it's really rewarding. So what I like about forensic psychiatry is that it offers you the opportunity to work through a broad spectrum of psychopathology. And then it is intellectually stimulating because at the same time you have to take uh, the perspective of the interface between the law and the mental health as well. Generally, forensic psychiatry hospitals are really quite well resourced and we, we benefit from a lot of psychology intervention and occupational therapy intervention. With the MDT, if I'm concerned about somebody's risk or I need to have a conversation about somebody going on leave or not, then there will, there will always be a member of the MDT that I can have that conversation with. So whatever we do as a forensic psychiatrist, uh, multidisciplinary and multi-agency working is at the heart of it. I trained in the West Midlands and I'm now a consultant here in the West Midlands and I think the area offers a huge amount for trainees. The West Midlands has a wealth of services so we have excellent links with our high secure hospital which is Ashworth Hospital in Liverpool as well as good links with the other two high secure hospitals Rampton and Broadmoor. We have a number of medium secure facilities and we also have some low secure admitting wards, low secure discharge wards and long term low secure facilities. And in addition to that, we have um, excellent links with a range of universities and medical schools. The thing that attracted me was the provision of so many prisons. Uh, we have prisons that cover almost the entire age spectrum and uh, almost the entire security spectrum. There's a real strong peer group um, in the West Midlands. I think there's within the trainees, but also within the consultants, and lots of informal and formal support. The West Midlands itself is a big geographical area with a lot of variation from better off areas to really quite deprived inner city areas. So you can come out as a consultant with quite a lot of confidence that you've, you've experienced a lot as a trainee. You will never have two days at the same. You will be challenged intellectually and you will have the joy of looking after patients at very difficult periods of their life, but seeing them come through at the other end um, and uh, achieving their goals and, and sometimes achieving really very successful lives in the community. It's a very varied speciality. It's a very challenging speciality, but it's a really rewarding one.